is my tutorial for a Tropical Vibes Snow Globe Tumbler. For prep, I've taped off my tumbler and I'm going to give it a light scuff using an 80 grit sanding block and wiping it down with 91% alcohol. Then I'll be ready to add my Monstera leaf stencils. I got the leaves for this tutorial at Creative Fabrica. I'll post the links to them in the description box down below. After you're done with your stencils, we'll be ready to add our spray paint. I decided to spray paint my tumbler white to give my other colors a good base so that the colors will pop. I then spray painted the whole tumbler green first, then spray painted the leaves with the pink. The overspray from the pink will blend with the green. We'll also be doing a tacket method using Southern Belle Glitter's foil glue on this tumbler next, and that will help blend the colors even more, so don't stress if you can't get them perfectly blended in. Now, normally I would seal my glitter layer before pulling my stencils, but because this is an opal glitter, I'm not really worried about it moving around since we're gonna be adding some extra glitter into our epoxy layer anyway. And as I said, I'm gonna be adding some extra glitter because y'all already know. This mix is from the mermaid tumbler we made in April. You can also use an opal glitter or any opal glitter that you have if you like. If you don't have the glitters to make the mix or you can just skip this step too. It's totally up to you, but you know, it's extra glitter. So just go ahead, just go ahead. You know you want to, just do it, do it. <laughs> Let cure, then we'll be ready to add a touch more color using alcohol inks. I've gone ahead and re-added my leaf stencils and now I'm gonna add some inks to really make my colors pop. I'll be starting dark in the middle of the leaf, then blending the pink outwards using alcohol ink blending solution. Then I'll be blending the pink into the green even more with the green ink.
When you're done, pull your stencils and let your inks dry for a bit or dry them with your heat gun. Then seal with a coat of epoxy. Then we'll be ready to add our foil water slides. I've already gone ahead and made my water slides earlier. Actually, I think I made them the day before I filmed. So if you would like a more in-depth tutorial on how I make my water slides, I'll post a link to the post or to my most recent tutorial in the right-hand corner of your screen, as well as the link to the original poster of this method in the description box down below. Let your water slides completely dry, then seal with a coat of epoxy. While we wait for our tumbler to cure, let's make our custom mix for the snow globe portion. I didn't have the color that I originally, I wanted like a pinkish green glitter color and I didn't have one. And it's been a minute since we've mixed a custom glitter. So I decided we go ahead and do one today. I went ahead and filled my snow globe and then I sealed it along with my signature. If you would like to see how I fill my snow globes, I'll post a link to my first snow globe tumbler tutorial in the right upper right hand corner of your screen so you can check it out. Tumblr really didn't need a decal, but I decided to add one anyway from an Etsy shop. If you'd like to use the same one, I'll post a link to it in the description box down below. I gotta be honest y'all, when I was first making this tumbler, I was not fond of the pink and green, so I also made a pastel version as like a backup. But honestly, after all this said and done, I'm really liking this dark pink and green, this like this hot pink and green. Let me know which one you guys like in the comments. That's it guys. <laughs> thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your tropical vibe snow globe tumblers and I'll see you again next time.